Okay, guys, we're back. Um, I'm going to be taking the whole shock shaft assembly apart. So it's just the shock shaft and we can get our new head seal on. Um, so we're going to start by taking off this nut at the top, which is a 17 millimeter again. You can see. So give me a minute. I'm going to crack this loose. This should be on here pretty tight, so... Yeah, that was good enough. Now it's getting tight, so I'm starting to think there might be a little bit of peening left on there. Yeah, there probably is. Some guy probably fucked it up. I'm not the first one to work on this shock, and C-Cycle has not worked on this shock in a while, I can tell you that much. Yeah, these threads are, uh, definitely something. Well, let me just pull this nut off of his strips, I got a spare. So that's all good. Can I move it forward? I have no clue what's going on. If it's... I don't know. Well, we'll see. Yeah, this is pretty tight. Um, I have a better idea. It's called... Uh, it's called an impact wrench and an air compressor. So you're going to hear some noise for a little bit. I'll let my compressor fill up a little bit. like waiting for my compressor to fill up, so I'm just using this on like 40 PSI. I'll let it fill up a little bit. This is really on there, like really, really tight. But I don't see the thread getting stripped or anything, so it's all good. Nice and toasty. Um, okay, yeah. See, they ground off the peening, but they didn't do it enough. Uh, you can kind of see, barely, what I'm talking about. If you look close enough at that, you'll see how it's a straight nut. Then it's straight like this. Then the sides kind of peer out a little bit. Barely. So they did grind it down. Not good enough. But the nut, it's in reusable shape. Um, 
I actually don't. I'm gonna reuse this because I actually don't have the right size for this. This is an M12 dash 1.75, and I only have the 1.25. I think, unless it's the M12. Yeah, I, it that's an M12 1.25. This is a 1.75. It won't work. Um, so whatever, we got that off. Nothing's broken. That's good. Uh, now what I'm going to do is get out a little rag here and start throwing this stuff on the rag. So what I do for this is what you should do. It's like the best idea. Actually, it's over here. Get some uh, bailing wire or some craft wire or something. I have some in here somewhere. Just got to find them. Find it. Uh, maybe it's not in here. Come on, where don't they? Shit, go. But the idea is here. I found a little bit. Not the best stuff, but. Okay, so what you do is you get yourself some of that bailing wire, about yay long, and you cut it off with something. Of course, I'm not going to be able to find anything to cut this off with, or am I? Wait a minute. Hey, this ought to work, right? I had to close my eyes there. I didn't want to put it on safety goggles. I didn't want to get any of this in my eye. So, here's what we do. Take some of this and stick it in that little hole. Then, while I do this with two hands, you watch what I do. Pull up from the bottom and pull all of these up onto that wire. The peening's still there, so these don't really want to come off that good. I'll grind it down a little bit better. I'll show you guys how I grind it down. Yeah, these are all getting stuck. All the shims and valving, and it's going to be a little bit hard to get off because the threads aren't all the way ground down. Jesus. Man, how did they get this off before? That's what I want to know. How in the hell did they get this off before? Okay, change of plans, of course. Let me just set this aside. We'll finish this in a little bit. Let me show you guys how I grind the peening down, because this is not going to come off. I don't know how they did it. They must have ruined something doing it. But for me, it's not going to come off. So, turn over to here, to my bench grinder, and I'll show you. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to put it right up at the top here, because you see this won't come off. It's stuck on those threads, so I'm just going to grind the top threads down just a tad. i got to turn this on. i got to find the plug for it. That's going to be the tricky part. Um, Alright. I got it. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Gonna turn that on. Get some safety glasses. Just grind it down a little bit. Just a 
tad bit more. I'm just going to clean this up. So this is already ground down, I didn't do it this way, which is where you do it like this. You just push it and grind it down. I didn't do it that way. I just ground down the top two threads because we don't use them anyways. And then you can pull everything that you want right off. So let's get to getting this back together. Now of course, this means that um, we're going to have some metal shavings on this stuff so you gotta clean it a little bit better but who cares so we get our wire back in that little hole that I was talking about and now you just pull everything up onto that wire it comes right off and then take that wire a little stuff on it and twist it and now you know exactly how everything came off. No guesswork, losing all those little washers. You know, this is the top because it's got a thick washer and that's the bottom. Pretty simple. Next, pull our head seal. Just comes right off. Bam. It's off. Stock head seal, I think. I think they just had, um, whoever built this just had new seals put in from C-Cycle. They look like C-Cycle seals to me on a rebuilt stock head seal, so that's that. Then I'm going to slide the zip tie off. This is just trash for me right now. Then you'd slide that little cap off that we punched out. Then you would normally slide the little bottom out bumper off. Then you can take the little cap off. And now we're down to just a shock shaft. And well, these are all your parts. So that's going to be the end of this video. I got the shock assembly and everything clean. I got to clean the uh, bladder and some other various parts. So I'm going to clean everything and get this stuff all ready to get back together. So see you guys in uh, another video.